Digs the first out. Made 54 from just 25 balls with three fours and three sixes against the strike. Goes the reverse. Close. Umpire Maxwell up in the commentary position. Would he hurt him in the moment? That's going to hurt more. He's got a fair piece of that. Caleb Jewell for his favourite leg side. A big six. A Toyota six. Second tier comfortably from Ben McDermott. Majid cops it again. Almost a replay. From Adelaide. Not quite at the same scoring rate, but the sixes are starting to mount. And there's another boundary. Nice, nice improvisation there from Ben McDermott. Jewel, big swing of the bat. Oh, wow. he winds up. And there's no stopping that one. Another six from Caleb Jewell. His power on full display. Rogers, he tries again. It's high in the air. Richardson. Oh, just hangs on. There was a nervous moment or two. But the Renegade fans like what they see. Oh, heaves that away. And there was never any doubt. That was always going to clear the rope and the fence. It's right across. <laughs> it's gone finer than he might have imagined, but he gets the ideal result, Matthew Wade. He's so difficult to bowl to for that very reason. 100 against Pakistan last year, which was, which was awesome to see. <laughs> he skied this one. Rogers made the right adjustments. Takes the catch, and that's a big wicket. And respect that, especially at the back end of an inning. Full toss, and he dispatches it to the boundary. And it looks like there's plenty of runs in this wicket. Uh, how have the guys found it? Thank you, as the ball <laughs> scoots past us. How have the guys found it so far? Yeah, we thought, well, to be honest, I think our skipper was undecided with the battle bowl. It's quite good to watch. This is in the air, Sutherland. Judged it beautifully. Takes the catch. And Crawley is on his way. Yeah, mate. Oh, big hesitation. Yeah. Right the ball. And the Sumps are struck. Savali so goes high. He's got just enough. For a Toyota 6. Straight to cover. No problems for Marcus Harris. He never quite got in as the failure now. He has to leave. Catch it! Oh, and safely. Oh, it's close. It's gone. He's tucked the bat under the arm. He's made the decision himself. Oh. Even Tim Davis He's gone. get back. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, freeze it there, freeze it there. Got my decision ready for the screen. Team decision Rogers. ready for the screen is out. Tom oh, Rogers out. Even. Last one of, of the power surge. High in the air from Parker. Richardson's got to go to the way of the batsman. And he was able to dive forward and take it. Massive relief. Rogers bowls and is sent straight over the boundary line at deep mid-wicket. Goes again in the air, Sutherland. Most comfortably. Fahim is gone. Goes across, he's targeting that short boundary. It's touch and go, it's go. Over the head of Marcus Harris, and it sails for another six. Hey. Tried to go again, big thick edge. Hey, on the ball. Gonna be tough to cut off for Hussain, he can't get across. Last ball of the innings, Rogers bowls full and heads towards Finch. Not in that arm. Slipping over. <laughs> Slipping over anyway, didn't help for big Joel Paris. But a handy little partnership at the end. He'll be looking to go big. No! Paris has him tucked up a little first up. Well, how's Paris feeling? He was... 
Guptill goes aerial over David's head. It'll pitch down towards the rope, and it does skew on enough to bring up the first boundary. Down to the boundary. Meredith and swung away for the short boundary. Didn't middle it, but it doesn't matter. Guptill has taken all the strikes so far. He winds up and gets that over cover. And he doesn't have to do any running there. So this is a good response from Martin Gaptel late in this second over. Starts the third over and cops it. That is long and they are fighting over it in the crowd. There's bodies left, right and centre. It's a Toyota 6. And he wants more. Tried to tee off again but didn't quite find the absolute middle. But it's still good enough to bring up another bound. Scored all of the 26 and he's feasting at the moment. Doesn't matter where you put it, he'll find a way to get it to the boundary. Adjusted the shot, got it over extra for four more. You're able to work your way through these situations. Gaptel waits for that. Fahim takes the catch. The head goes back from Martin Gaptel. He hasn't been able to get through to the end of the power play. And Riley Meredith strikes a big blow. So Sam Harper, regular opener. Oh, trouble. Oh, Harris is in trouble now. David hits middle stump with a throw. Oh. Taken. Straight to Jewel, who holds on. And that Aaron Fitch has to go. Harper swings a lusty blow. Hit that high and long. Waits for Meredith and hit the gap and hit it well. Down, down. He drives Parker strongly through the covers. It'll go all the way. Runs from the over. Last ball of it now. Another high fully. And he sends that where it deserved to go. His eighth BBL 50, Sam Harper, brings it up with a maximum and a maximum effect. He goes across. His eye is well and truly in now. We'll go to. Oh, there's your answer. Don't need it. Just swing another one over mid wicket for six more. One more six, and he would have his high score in BBL history. <laughs> six, six, and then a reaching four over cover. Just teases all the way. Oh, that's even bigger. Three sixes in the over. Sam Harper. Is there another here? He has a go. It's gone over the offside. It's going to spin away, but it's another four. Five times in that over out of six. He reached the boundary all beyond. I haven't been able to do it on or off the field. 11 to win, 11 for a century. Skied that. And the party's over. David, safe hands. Alistair Wells, straight back at the bowler, there's at least two, and it's got a slide into the rope, that's two in a row for the Melbourne Renegades, Wells sees them home.